Hello, and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. If there is one sweet treat that I cannot resist, it is the humble marshmallow. So today I'm going to show you how to make handcrafted marshmallows at home. Making marshmallows at home is simple, but it does require a little patience and um, self-restraint, which we will get to in a moment. And you also need a good thermometer and an electric mixer, in addition to these ingredients. Four envelopes of unflavored gelatin powder, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, a dash of salt, some water, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and some confectioner's sugar. Now that we have all our essentials in place, let's get started. Place the gelatin powder with half a cup of cold water in the bowl of your mixer and set aside. Place your sugar, corn syrup, and a healthy pinch of salt in a medium saucepan. Then we're going to add half a cup of cold water. Now we just give it a little stir to combine it. Then we put the heat on medium high. Now we just leave it until the temperature hits 240. As the sugar and the corn syrup heat, it's gonna bubble and that's totally fine. The key is that it must reach the temperature of 240. We're going to put the mixer on low and very, very carefully stream in our hot sugar until it dissolves the gelatin completely. Add your tablespoon of vanilla. And to avoid getting splattered with hot sugar, we're gonna gradually increase the speed to high and then whip it for 10 minutes. Oof. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now spread it into an 8x8 baking dish that's been lightly coated with nonstick spray. Now remember that self restraint I spoke about? This is the time because this has to set at room temperature, uncovered, for four hours. You have to wait. But while you're waiting, you can lick the spatula. Nobody's going to see, and I will not judge you. The wait is over, and now comes the tricky part. And by tricky part, I mean the sticky part. Cutting the marshmallows. You're going to put powdered sugar on a work surface. Get the longest knife in your kitchen. And before you start to cut, you're going to run the knife under hot water, which will help it cut through. Now, these need to be encouraged out of your baking dish, but it'll come out pretty easily. Boop! Nice. Now I'm gonna heat up the knife with some hot water. I'll just dry it off and begin. And you're going to want to rinse your knife off periodically because it's going to get sticky. Come on. <laughs> mm. 
one. Oh, I just, I want to rest my head on these. They look so good. Okay. Well, I'm doing this. I just want to remind you to give me a thumbs up because I need a little love right now. My dishwasher broke. And because of the supply chain issues, they're telling me the replacement dishwasher is on back order for six months to a year. Yeah, okay. Patience. I'm just going to move these over to the side. And now we're just going to cut these into squares. But first, I'm going to rinse off my knife again because it's getting sticky. Now, here I have more powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, in a resealable container because what we need to do is they need to be dusted on all four sides or they'll just stick to each other and you're going to have a big marshmallow globby mess on your hands. That's a big one. That one's for me. <laughs> These are cutting very nicely. All right, so we have a couple in here. I'm going to put the lid on and just give them a good shake. Let me take them out, dust them off as best you can, and put them in another airtight container. And these are good, stored at room temperature for up to a week, which makes me giggle because they're not going to last that long. Now, this recipe is for your basic vanilla uh, marshmallow, but you could go crazy. At the point where you add the vanilla, you can also add other extracts. For example, you can replace the vanilla extract, or in addition to the vanilla extract, you can add peppermint extract. And if you want to really make something delicious, Sometimes I put peppermint extract and a tablespoon of cocoa powder and make chocolate peppermint marshmallows. Yeah, they're amazing. All right, so let's have a taste test. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Mm. The texture is perfect. Excuse me, I probably have powdered sugar all over my face. This is more delicious than any marshmallow you will ever buy in a store. They're easy to make, and people love to receive them as gifts. Talk about getting off easy. You show up at somebody's house with handcrafted marshmallows, they go nuts. So again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Become a subscriber because I'm going to make many, many more yummy things and leave me a comment because I always like to hear from you. Join me again next time right here at home with Anita Rosner. Thanks for watching.